Hi, and welcome to another video on Image R. My name is Steven, and today I will explain you the third button on the Image R main site, the Resize button. In this video, we will also talk in depth about DPI, and I will try to make it easier understandable. Let's start. First, we navigate to the Image R website called image r.com and upload an image. After upload, click on the Resize button. It will open a dialog with a few different fields. Let me explain them in detail. On the measurement label, you can decide the unit which you're most familiar with. For me, it is millimeters. You can decide if you want to input a value in the width or height input, or change the size by using the percentage values. As long as the fixed aspect ratio checkbox is ticked, the width and height will change in ratio. If you want to change them without ratio, just untick the checkbox. As soon as you tick it again, it will change the width and height again in ratio. Next to the DPI label is a question mark. If you click on it, you will get redirected to a video from us about focus and DPI. However, I know that I need for my CO2 Laser 318 DPI. But why? Let me try to explain you how DPI works in laser engraving a little bit later in the video. First, we click on Resize Now. If you look now above your image, you will see the current size. This should show the values which you entered on resize means everything worked as expected. We also have a DPI table on image-r.com slash scan gap. You can see in the chart the DPI values on the right side and the according step size on the left side. Step size is the distance the laser head moves when jumping to the next line. I will show you know everything about DPI as simple as possible. In this example, we have a lawn with a size of 120 inches. Our mowing machine have an effective size of 20 inches, means we have to do six passes with exactly 20 inches to get it perfectly mowed. The calculation was 120 inches, lawn divided by the 20 inches mower equals six passes. That's the most effective way to mowing the lawn. What would happen if you don't use enough DPI? When you look at the chart, you will see that less DPI means a longer step size. Let's say we will move now 25 inches instead of 20 on each line and see what happens. Short explanation. The darker green lawn implicates your workpiece, the mower your laser head, and the lighter green the engraved line. Since the mower keeps moving now 25 inches instead of the correct 20 inches, you will see a little gap between the lines. That gap is just the meadow which wasn't cut since the mower machine moved too far. Means there will be now always a gap between the lines until you change the movement back to 20 inches. Okay. So I will use just a lot of DPI to prevent this, right? No. Let me show you the same example again with higher DPI. If you look at the chart, it means that higher DPI will move less distance between the lines. Let's do 15 inches instead of the wrong chosen 25. Then it has to engrave everything, right? Wrong. If you look at my high-quality mowing simulation, you will see now that the mower machine is cutting some parts of the grass two times, since the lines are overlapping. Exactly the same will happen on your laser engravings, if you choose too much DPI. It will overlap, and you'll get horizontal lines again. But this time, the overlapping is deeper engraved. In the example before, where we used the 25 inches, you got lines because the mower didn't cut everything. But what is now the right DPI? As we calculated at the beginning, it is 20 inches. Since your laser beam is obviously smaller than 20 inches, let me explain now with real values. If your laser beam has a dot size of 0.08 millimeters, you have to use 318 DPI, not 300, not 320, 318. If you divide one inch, which equals 25.4 millimeters, with your chosen step size, you will get your needed DPI. In example, the calculation is 25.4 millimeters divided by 0.08 millimeters equals 317.5 DPI. We learned in school to round up 0.5 values to the next number, which is 318 DPI. You can't use 317.5 DPI since one pixel is one pixel. There's no 0.5 pixel. So, let me show you now the mowing machine video with the correct step size.
As you see, we have a completely even mowed lawn, no lines, no gaps, exactly what we want. If you want to know now an easy way to find out your DPI value, I would recommend the video in the top right corner. I also linked it in the video description. Hopefully DPI is now easier to understand and why it is really important to get it perfectly. That's basically everything I have to say about resizing. I hope to see you in the next video where we explain everything about the add text function. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.